we are going to discuss about the next important cell organelle what we call it as golgi complex which is present in all type of cells that is in case of plant cell as well as in case of animal cell we observe the golgi body or what we call it as golgi complex it was first discovered by the scientist named camillo golgi in 1898 and hence it is called as golgi complex in respect of this scientist in honor of this scientist we call it as golgi complex in case of plant cell we call them as dictyosomes that is another name is given in case of plants that is dictyosomes so usually their number is single in case of animal cell that is between the nucleus and the secretory end of the cell only single golgi complex is present in case of animal cell while in case of plant cell the number is more as compared to the animal cell the number is more in case of plant cell so it is the structure which is in the form of membranous sacs membranous sacs are there which are forming this structure and these membranous sacs we call them as cisternae which are piled one above the other and these membranous sacs they are having the lipoproteinaceous membrane that is the membrane formed by phospholipids and inside that fluid is present and they, these are surrounded by the small tubules and vesicles so the components that is we we'll see one by one so the first component by which the golgi complex is formed that is cisternae so these are the small saccules formed by membranous flaps which are forming the stacking the stack one above the other we call them as cisternae inside which fluid is filled inside this membranous bodies fluid is present and the other component what we call it as small tubules or vesicles so in top view you observe them spherical but these are extending inside as the tubules these are small tubules which are associated with these golgi cisterni and at the distal end you are observing the large vesicles or what we call them as vacuoles they are present at the distal end and these two ends we give them different names as cis end and trans end cis side and trans side they are different in orientation in case of golgi complex so it is the structural arrangement of the golgi complex now we'll see about the functions after discussing about the structural arrangement in case of golgi complex we'll see what are its functions it plays very important role in case of plant cell as well as in case of animal cell so the first function which is played by golgi complex that is in the general secretions of the cell it helps in the process of general secretion of the cell where it is present second function which is imparted to this organelle is in case of plant cell where they are present they are secreting the polysaccharides they are involved actively involved in the process of synthesis of polysaccharides and we know that cell walls 
which are composed of the polysaccharide that is cellulose so obviously they are having role in the cell wall formation in case of plant cells the third function that is in the formation of the plasma membrane that is the lipoproteinaceous membrane is formed that is helped by the golgi complex the fourth function again very particular important function that is in the formation of the acrosome in case of the sperm in case of sperm we know that the head region of the sperm it is having a cap like structure which is the acrosome which is helpful in the penetration of the membrane of the egg during the act of fertilization this acrosome which is having the enzymes like hyaluronidase which are involved in dissolving the membrane of the egg during fertilization so that acrosome is formed by the golgi complex as well as the yolk granules in case of egg they are produced or synthesized by golgi complex another function that is formation of the primary lysosomes so we have seen that the larger vesicles are present at the distal end of this organelle and they contribute in the formation of the primary lysosomes lysosomes we know they are having hydrolytic enzymes involved in various hydrolytic reactions so those lysosomes are formed by the golgi complex another role there is they are playing there is the site of formation of the pigments in case of the cells of mammals they are working as the site for pigment granule formation we observe different colors in the mammals so those pigment granules they are formed by this golgi complex the last function they show that is the involvement in case of <coughs> protein synthesis they are involved in the process of protein synthesis